we got ourselves just a, an A-plus matchup in Calgary. Kings, Flames from the Saddle Dome. Right now, though, let's dig deep into some analytics with Edward Egros and expected goals. Counting a skater's goals scored can tell us what they have done, but it may not necessarily tell us how much offense they are going to generate in the future. That's where expected goals comes in. This metric assigns a probability to each shot that it will become a goal, and then we can add up those probabilities to come up with an expected goals mark. It is a complex formula, but the two most important factors are where a shot was taken on the ice and the angle of the shot to the goal. When it comes to where a shot was taken on the ice, there are two clear regions that we want to look at. The first is the slot, and it represents the Pentagon from the outer edges of the circles all the way to the dots, all the way to the net. And 75% of all goals are scored here. You can also reduce that region of the ice to the inner slot. And that is comprised of this diamond-shaped area here. And 50% of all NHL goals are scored from this area. The second factor involves angle. The more straight on a shot is to the net, the likelier it is to become a goal. And 50% of all NHL goals are scored from 30 degrees from the center line. What's great about expected goals is you can look past the variances of the game, like bad luck, to get a difference between actual goals and expected goals to determine who is overperforming and who is likely due to pick up their overall offense. Edward, an absolute genius when it comes to analytics, without a doubt. Jim Fox joins us now here with Jared Stoll. Put a couple of hockey sticks in these guys' hands, a tennis ball, and they're like little kids <laughs> over here trying to work. We only got two sticks in the studio. Really Sorry, well. Patrick. The right guys have them. Uh, Jim, how do analytics such as what Edward was breaking down help you in a broadcast? Well, it helps me to prepare for what to watch, what's going to happen from the opposition team, because they have some strengths. They have things that they're going to be working on. They have some issues that they're going to be strong at. And then there are some areas you can exploit. But but for me as a broadcaster, I take a look at those numbers and then I don't try to let them override the game. I try to let the game tell the story itself, but you're always watching in the back of your mind to what's going on. This morning, Tom McClellan spoke to us. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of discussion about Alex Iafalo, right? And it's valid. He has not been scoring goals. He has not been producing offensively. But Todd said the analytic numbers say that his danger chances, his high danger chances have not slipped. They're as high as they were at the beginning of the year when he was scoring a lot of goals. So coaches will use that and that type of thing saying, mm -hmm. we hope it's going to happen because the chances are there, it's just mm -hmm. not going in. Yep. Yeah, that's interesting, yeah. I, I, I thought it was just, way down, but we, we did yeah. some research ourselves, Alex and I, and we found the same thing. His chances now are at the same rate as they were earlier. Yeah. It's not going in now.